Oscar Romeo 4, India Sierra Sierra. This is Yankee United 7. Bravo, Papa Quebec. Do you copy, Luca? Oscar Romeo 4, India Sierra Sierra. This is Yankee United 7. Bravo, Papa Quebec. Do you copy, Luca? Oscar Romeo 4, India Sierra Sierra. This is Yankee United 7. Bravo, Papa Quebec. Do you copy, Luca? Oscar Romeo 4, India Sierra Sierra. This is Yankee United 7. Bravo, Papa Quebec. Do you copy, Luca? Oscar Romeo 4, India Sierra Sierra. This is Yankee United 7. Bravo, Papa Quebec. Calling for school contact. Over. Oscar Romeo 4, India Sierra Sierra. This is Yankee United 7. Bravo, Papa Quebec. Do you copy, Luca? Bravo, Papa Quebec. This is the International Space Station. Good afternoon. Go ahead with the questions. Read your loving clear. Okay, Luca. Welcome to the Serbia. Primary school, Jovan Jovanovic Mai in City Sremska Mitrovica. Here we start with the first questions. Over. Hi, I'm Anna. Which planet would you like to visit and why? Over. Hello, I, I think the planet I would like the most to, to visit is planet Earth because it's so big and I've only, I've only visited on the ground a very small portion of it, so there is so much more to explore. If I had to, to pick another planet to, to visit, I would start with uh, Mars. And who knows, maybe you will go to Mars one day. Over. Hi, I'm Christina. What man-made wonders can see from space? Over. We actually get to see a lot of man-made wonders uh, in, uh, in the Arab Emirates. We get to see the artificial islands in the shape of a palm and the shape of the world. We get to see ports, we get to see harbors, we, we get to see um, a lot of airports. So uh, all of those are pretty, pretty interesting. And also uh, cities, cities are really wonderful to see at night. Over. Hi, I am Muna. Which is the furthest spot on the horizon and what can you see around you? Over. Okay, I did not read at all the question. Uh, go ahead again. Hi, I am Una. What is the furthest spot on the horizon and what can you see around you? Over. Oh, we can see about uh, 6,000 kilometers uh, around us. So when we look down, we have a radius of about 6,000 kilometers and then around us we see space. So uh, when it's night, we do see a lot of, uh, a lot of stars, a lot of, uh, well, stars, we see the planets. Uh, and if it's, uh, in, you know, over, over ground, we see cities and... Uh, uh, human-made structures, and it's during the day we see everything. It's really, really, really uh, amazing. Over. Hi, I'm Dunya. Why is the temperature at ISS at constant 38 degrees? Over. Hi, Dunya. I don't know when you, where you read that, but, but it is not. Uh, the temperature on the ISS varies between 19 and 25 degrees or so, uh, and uh, we maintain it so that it's comfortable for us. And it's about... Uh, uh, the temperature that you know that keeps us in a short sleeves over. Hello, my name is the city. What do you do when you cut yourself over? Well, if I cut myself uh, very, uh, you know, for a small cut, well, I would just use a band aid. We have a pharmacy up here, and if it's really bad, and uh, we have a um, we have a way to uh, suture it in many different ways, fast ways, permanent ways, and so on. Over. Hello, I'm Asha. What do you do when you can't sleep? Over. Well, the same things that I do on the ground. I try to read or listen to music if I can. And if there is really nothing else to do and I really have to sleep and get up early, I'll take some sleeping meds. Over. Hi, I'm Dimitri. What kind of music do you listen to and who chooses it? Over. We get to choose our own music because um, from the ground, they, uh, they can upload it. Uh, to the into the system that we have up here, we have uh, uh, we have computers that can 
uh, keep it in the memory, and then we just uh, pick our music and listen to it while we work out or do activities over. Hi, I'm Eleonora. What do you do for fun? Over. Oh, we do a lot of things for fun. We uh, we we play like we. Uh, first of all, floating is already a lot of fun. We also listen to music. We play to music. We can play board games. Uh, we can uh, look outside the window and look for targets. Uh, watch TV, listen to music, watch movies, reading. You name it. We have a lot of ways. Over. Hi, I'm Elena. What is your favorite thing about space? Over. Oh man, I don't, I don't have one favorite thing, but I have many favorite things, but which make up life. It's living in space that really attracts me here. Uh, working, uh, working here, uh, exercising, doing science, doing maintenance, doing spacewalks, coming up here, landing, all these things together, it's what makes space so fascinating. It's the exploration of the limits. Over. Hi, I'm Mikhailo. Is your space suit comfortable? Over. We, we use two different kinds of space suit. One for uh, coming up and down from the space station and the other one for uh, spacewalks. They are very different from each other and they are, I wouldn't say that they are comfortable, but they are very useful. So uh, we, we just make do. Over. Hi, I'm Lara. Is life in space difficult? Over. I don't know. What do you mean by difficult? Uh, anything can be difficult. And usually something is interesting is also difficult. I have, I have very little experience in things that are easy and interesting at the same time. I don't usually consider things difficult. I consider them a challenge and uh, I try to uh, respond to every challenge by overcoming it. Over. Hi, my name is Natasha. Can you eat ice cream in space? Over. Well, Natasha, if we had ice cream, we would certainly eat it. Unfortunately, we don't have any. Over. Hi, I'm Maria. What is on today's menu? Over. Well, tonight I have to, to have dinner with some specific food that was uh, selected for me uh, for an experiment. So I think that I have a small steak, a lot, uh, some nuts and uh, vegetables. I think I have broccoli with cheese and cauliflower au gratin. Over. Hi, I'm Luke. Do you prefer taking off or landing and why? Over. Hello. Uh, we, we share the same name. Um, uh, well, I don't have a preference. You know, there are two very different moments. When you're taking off, it means you're coming up and you're starting your adventure, so it's very exciting. And when you're landing, you're ending your adventure and you're starting another. You're going home to your friends and family. So it's exciting for a different way. Over. Hi, my name is Angela. What do you miss most about Earth? Over. You know, it's pretty hard to pick one thing, but if I really had to, I would say it's human contact, human touch. Uh, and specifically, I'm thinking about my daughters. I really miss them. I really miss hugging them, playing with them, and uh, feeling them. So uh, that, that's probably the thing that I can really not get enough of. Over. Hello, my name is Zognin. Can you see thunder and lightning on Earth? Over. Absolutely, we see them all the time and they are really fascinating, especially at night when you, all you see is these uh, huge clouds with the light uh, coming out. Of course, we don't hear the thunder, but we do see the lightning. Over. Hello, my name is Alexa. What would you do if you happen to drift away from my SS? Over. So if you're on a spacewalk and you start to drift away, we have a system called Safer uh, that uh, will let us fly ourselves back to the ISS, and we train for it in virtual reality. Over. Hello, my name is Alexander. What do you do when you get ill? Over. The same thing that we do on Earth. We try to get better. We have a small pharmacy up here uh, that we can use for medication, and uh, we also have antibiotics and all kinds of all sorts of things that uh, we can call our doctor and uh, learn how to use them so that we can get better. If something is really, really bad, well, we can always come back to Earth in about six hours' time. Over. Hello, my name is, hello, my name is Nicola. What does it feel like when you get back to Earth? Over. It feels like you are really, really heavy because you're just not used to any weight because for six months or more, you've been living in weightlessness. And when you get back to Earth, all that weight that you, where you carry in your body gets on you and it, it's, really, it's really heavy somehow. Over. 
Hello, my name is Mila. How does the Earth look from above? Or... Hello, Mila. Earth looks like the most wonderful planet that exists in the universe. It's the only one that we know, and it's really, really beautiful. It's, it's blue with water, it's white with clouds and snow, it's brown with land and green with grass and forests. And all the colors melt one into the other, creating a... a amazing shapes that are indescribable and if I was if I was from a different planet and came around orbit and found planet Earth I would really want to come back down and try to feel the sand touch the grass smell the wind and uh, and jump in the sea and feel the snow and feel all the things that I can see from up here over okay Oscar radio for India Sierra Sierra this is Yankee United 7 Bravo Papa Quebec we are on the end this contact. Thank you very much, Luca. Have a good fly and bye-bye. Here is greetings from Padon. Farewell, Bravo Papa Quebec. Thank you so much for your questions and for all your for all your time. Stay curious, keep exploring, and all the best. Thank you.